Hey, how's it going? And continuing the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one, we'll be getting a couple of Daedric Swords. Now, essentially, these are split into two separate quests. So I'll be doing two videos. And in this one, I'll be going for Dawnfang and Dustfang. They are actually one sword. And we'll be getting a Bloodthirst in the next one. All right, let's go get them. So here we are at Whiterun as usual. Um, now we're going to be heading into the Ratway in Riften. So while I'm there, I'm going to buy Shadowfoot Sanctum. I did think about making a video for all the houses, but essentially just going and buying them. Um, so, you know, what's, what's the point? Why take a chance? You look like you could use a drink. And the object of this is getting all the, uh, you know, getting all the CC mods at level one. I don't have to do a video on all of them, do I? Like the dwarven mud, mud crab. Unless you want to see a video of me getting the dwarven mud crab, then uh, I'll do one. Be careful what you ask for. Okay, the rat way is not a safe place, really. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grel. Oh, excellent! The rat way. This place seems like an absolute riot. skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? Okay. <laughs> they weren't aggressive until we kill them anyway. Uh, what's going on? Be careful. I just think I murdered two people for actually no reason at all. Oh well. It's been so long since I've been down, I've forgotten all this. I can't really remember much about this quest. I think it was... It's a reasonably tough um, boss fight, if I remember rightly. But one thing I do remember is you've got to read all the notes because you can quite easily miss um, the quest for Bloodthirst. And to be honest, you have the two swords. I actually prefer Bloodthirst. Uh, looks like we got a bloody hell! <laughs> what? Uh, oh, I think we might have a glitch on board. Um, and I've got no backup either. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay.
Let's call that for 27. Okay, if I remember rightly, I've got to do three of these, I think. Um, there's clearly a glitch going on here. Uh, it's probably conflict with another mod I've got. It's like I'm fighting a Minecraft enemy. I'm sure there's other stuff to pick up. I think there's some stuff up on the platforms if you can get up there. I don't have, well, obviously, we don't have whirlwind sprout. Uh, sprout? Sprint. <laughs> can I get over there? Oh, crap. No. No, can't do it. Oh, well, sod it. There is stuff up there, by the way, if we can get to those platforms. Well, with Sprint will be uh, really handy. Okay. Ooh, arrow in the face, fantastic. Oh, what? Who's doing that? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, that really wasn't worth the effort, was it? Okay, onwards and upwards. Damn, I forgot about that.
Yeah, definitely worth checking these barrels out for loot. There's a lot of decent ingredients here. And I think we get the note in here. Oh, that's a good dagger to get. Great for enchanting. Okay, I'm sure I've missed stuff, but hey. Okay, I think we're coming up to the bus fight, if I can remember which one it is. Um, no, damn it, that's the entrance. Yeah, helps if I follow the quest marker. Okay. Oh. Okay, oh, oh dear. Seriously, what is this glitch? I don't know where I'm hitting. <laughs> oh no. I might be in trouble. Oh, I've oh, got it. Oh, that was easier than I thought.
Which note was it? Damn it, I've forgotten. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the backstory on this is really nice, actually. Okay. Right, I'll just dump some stuff and uh, I'll probably cut this out of the video. God, I hate that cut. I've thrown away stuff that I really want to keep. Kind of choosing the least worst option. And, um, oh, hold on. Well, we meant to pick this up before we came in. Ah, this is uh, the whole backstory. Actually, you can pick up one of the pets of Skyrim from here if you uh, really want to. Um, it's just literally down the, the end there, the skeever. Okay, so I think we're going by uh, Shadowfoot Sanctum, which is just there. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. You got a lot of nerve coming down here. People tend to... Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. Until next time. Now I actually genuinely do like this home. I think it's um, it's really well done. But the reason why I never use it, and I never do, is because it's such a pain in the ass to get to. to you know, I don't want to run through the rat way. I don't want to sort of uh, jump into the lake to get to the escape hatch. Um, which is a real shame. What? I think should have been added into this was a teleportation spell that teleports you straight into the home. And the idea is nice, you know, living in the rat way and blah blah blah, but it's just a pain when you're just trying to do things quickly. Real shame. <laughs> 
because the actual home itself is great, really nicely done. Great trophy room. Really good, I like this. Anyway, so, uh, that's it. Okay, so we've got two birds of one stone in this uh, video. We've got Shadowfoot Sanctum um, and we've got Dawn Fang Stroke Dust Fang. So let's take a look at this sword. Okay, so this is a pretty unique looking weapon. Not something I'd normally go for, but in this case, for some strange reason, I really like it. Um, as a sword, it's fairly decent with a damage of 14 and a weight of 16. Exactly the same as a Daedric sword. And you need an ebony ingot and the Daedric smithing perk to improve. It. The enchantments are a little bit iffy, uh, to be honest, in daytime it deals 7 points of fire damage and at night it deals 7 points of frost damage and after killing 12 creatures it absorbs 5 points of health or magicka for X number of creatures killed. So the more you kill the more powerful it is. Anyway, I love these swords. Um, Bloodthirst is probably the best one for me and I'll be doing that in the next video. But both of them I really love and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one and uh, love you.